I hate it. I literally like, I, I look patchy. I look, I need another pump. Hello my loves, today we are going to attempt a makeup challenge. I've not filmed a makeup challenge in a little while. I asked on Twitter today what videos you guys want to see and a couple of requests came through for the one dip makeup challenge. So I went on YouTube, I looked it up, I saw Nikki tutorials and James Charles do this challenge and it looked kind of hilarious, kind of fun and kind of terrifying all at once. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. I'm going to do my best. I think we'll do something colourful because I feel like one dip of new try shadows is just what I do anyway because like neutral can be subtle whereas with bright colors I feel like it's a little bit more risky and we want to keep this fun all right so if you haven't gathered what the challenge is about it's literally just a look where we can only dip one time into our product so whether we're putting a brush into a pan or if we are using a doe foot applicator or a pump one only no more re-dipping no more extra pumps none of that so wish me luck I'm in my comfy t-shirt today and my fake tan on my neck is like really bad so I've tried to like cover it with a necklace. It's not very effective but let's just pretend. And I've got my rash on my eye still. I don't know. I don't know if it's stress or hay fever or what it is. Um, hay fever is really bad right now. Can you hear my voice? <clears throat> Literally I woke up in the middle of the night like my whole voice was just like gone. I, I don't feel sick. It's just like allergies. It's so annoying. Alright, so primer. One pump of primer. I'm not going to use stuff with like a squeeze tube if I can help it because that's kind of like, like what is one dip of a squeeze tube, do you know what I mean? I'm trying to look for something I haven't used in a little while. Alright, how about my Banana Bright Face Primer by Ulla Henriksen. I feel like this could be a good little option. It's got a pump so oh, it's clogged too. I'm probably going to get like a half. That doesn't count surely. Hold on, let me wipe this off. It needs a little warm up because I've not used them in a while. Okay, I'm just gonna go straight on my face actually. Whew. Okay, one. One only. You know me as well, like normally I take like literally three or four pups of everything because I just do, I don't know what it is. And I know that I don't need that much. So hopefully today will teach me a lesson. Oh my gosh. I do feel like I could have gone for two pumps of this though because it's kind of hydrating and my skin feels so dry you guys. But I'm just going to spread it out as much as possible. I got it over most of my face. There's like a couple patches like on my jaw and like underneath my chin that aren't done. But I got it in all of the places that matter. And oh my gosh, I forgot how beautiful this primer is. It gives this really pretty glow to your skin. Oh, even without like makeup on top. It's just so stunning and I love the scent. So definitely recommend that primer if you were wondering. I've raved about it in the past and I'm almost out actually. So I should really just finish that tube. I love finishing makeup. I know it's weird. Most people like, are like, I don't want to finish it because... Then you have to repurchase and everything, I guess, because I'm so lucky I get sent a lot. So for me, I'm like, yes, I did it. Because I try new things every single freaking time almost. This is going to be too dark if I use this. Like, I feel like this is quite a thin formula that spreads out really, really well. It's not going to give me the best coverage, but, you know, we've still not done concealer. Actually, I think I've got a breakout concealer. I might just pop on this because this is like a giant nasty pimple, like love my life. Bye bye breakout full coverage concealer treatment. So I'm going to take one dab <laughs> with a q-tip. Wait no it's got a doe foot applicator which I don't really like to be honest so I'm just going to take whatever's on this. That's the one dip. I'm going to just dab that over some breakouts. Like that's pretty much mostly it really. Um so yeah done. I guess I should probably like blend it out with my finger a little bit. I'm just gonna let that dry for a couple of minutes before going in with my foundation. I think I will use the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Foundation in light medium 14. <sighs> One pump. I'm terrified. You know what? I'm going to pump it directly onto this brush so I can spread it out. So there's one pump and I'm going to take every little bit <laughs> and then I'm going to spread this out all over my face. Man, this makes me kind of sad. I'm like rubbing the brush off <laughs> so I can get every little bit of foundation out. And then I'm just going to spread it out with this angled foundation brush. Oh god, I can already tell this is not enough coverage for my liking. Literally, I feel like I'm not even going to get it all over my face. I'm using big circular motions just to try and blend it over as much surface area as possible because 
this foundation is matching my neck and chest and everything my face has no fake tan on it and it's so pale so like for me this is going to be so much more obvious if it doesn't cover everywhere because it doesn't match my actual like like face skin tone do you know what I mean and now I've just like wiped off all of that concealer I should have done the concealer after my foundation I hate it I literally like I I look patchy I look I need another pump I'm sad <sighs> okay whatever Let's just go on with concealer. I've got this one on my desktop, so we're going to use it. The Forever Skin Correct by Dior. This is in 2N. So we can only use what's on it. This. So you know damn straight, I'm going to take full advantage. I'm going to like run this shit dry because I'm just going to be tactical and like try to place this like everywhere where I can get some more coverage. Okay, it's starting to run out guys. I feel like that's all of it. That's so much concealer. <laughs> this is like low key. Like, it's not really cheating because it is one dip, but like <laughs> this is like way more concealer than I would normally wear, which is funny because the whole point of this video is to be like the opposite. <laughs> I am a hacker. Just call me anonymous. <laughs> well, at least that helped to even out like my redness on my cheeks looks so much better. Okay, and I'm just going to blend this around my eyes. Oh my gosh, concealer really saved me just then. Wow. Okay. It's still not as flawless as I would like. Like, I can still see quite a bit of patchiness. And, like, ideally, I would love to run heaps of product all the way down my neck. Because my tan's just, like, due to come off. I'm actually going to scrub it off tomorrow. I've got a wedding the day after tomorrow. So, like, tomorrow's my day where I'm going to, like, remove and reapply. Um, I just don't want to do it today. Because I wanted my tan to be fresh. But, ugh. Ugh. It's all a lot. Okay. Anyway, moving along. Okay, how is this going to work? Because I can't really use my P. Louise base because it's a squeeze tube. Like, easy to cheat. So, do I just do one... Can I get this open? One rotation. There's already a bit of product, like, caked on the lid. This is probably going to be so dry and disgusting. But, ready? One click. <laughs> Literally nothing came out. So, I mean, let's just use whatever's on at the edge. I only did one click. So, I'm not cheating. This is just how it is. I wish I still had my like um, Smashbox or Benefit one because they're on a doe foot applicator but I don't have any open right now. And honestly like I feel like this primer is quite old so we may get a little bit of you know dry, dry ball sack lids again. <sighs> Dare I say it. I'm just going to spread that out. I'm going to like do my eye makeup and then kind of see everything afterwards I think. I'm going to do like a very simple but fun eye look. I'm just going to like go through my collection and find like a bright palette. Then I might dip into like a Stila Magnificent Metal or something along those lines. Let's just see where this goes. Alright, so the palette I have chosen is the OPV Beauty Tropical Dreams Eyeshadow Palette. Now this, the colour scheme is really cool. I think I used this one time in my Black Room Beauty Brands video, which I can link below for you. But um, I haven't experimented with heaps of the colours and there's some limes and some blues orangey tones like heaps of fun stuff so basically we can well i think from what i saw on nikki tutorials video we can like dip in one time for both eyes but for each color so we can like use a mishmash of colors probably going to use like three or four like a normal kind of number of colors let's just see how this goes i'm going to start with a crease color first i suppose i need to whoop, show you what i'm doing right okay what color am i going to use in my crease i'm going to use fiji so, wait, how much is one dip? I just automatically went like that. Well, I guess I'll just take that. It was like a little tap tap jiggle. Hopefully that's not cheating. I like didn't even think, like I went into autopilot. I was just like, Brrr. All right, so I'm gonna like go real light. You can barely see it. Oh God. Okay, literally like that is not enough product because you can't even see it. So that's fantastic. <laughs> All right, let's go in with Aleppo. So, one, and I'm going to go, eh. <laughs> I'm going to go in the same kind of space. Oh god, this is um going bad. Very bad. The eye primer is so dried out, I need to throw it away. I was just looking at my palette like, let's just dip in again. I'm like, wait on a second, I can't. Oh my god, it's going so weird, I need to build it. Like, colours, like, you build, you buff, you blend, you know? Like, for me... I go in a few times and I just, I can't. It's just, it's just sad. I'm going to go in with Pala One. I hope I pronounced it right. Okay. One. Oh 
I feel like this is how like everyone starts off doing their makeup. They don't realize that they can like build and blend and stuff. So like you kind of just like go in with something and chuck it on. And you're like, wow, that looks great. Like this is how I would have done my makeup years ago, you know? So even this color I'd like to dip in one more time. This is real pigmented and beautiful. But like I could have just like done with a little bit of extra oomph and like another layer. Like you guys can barely even freaking see it. Look at it. <laughs> I'm so sad. Everything else was turning out okay, and now this has just ruined my day. Right, let's go in with another color on the other side. So let's go with Car Kawai. This one right here. I feel like I got like, none on my brush just then. I literally didn't. I didn't even take any. All right, and then we'll take one more color, or maybe two. We might do it in the inner corner, but I'm going to take one more color on a blendy brush, the outer corner <clears throat> and the outer part of the crease. Let's go in with Fifi. Nah. Okay, and. Oh, that's really dark. Okay, now all of a sudden we've got too much, huh? Okay, that's fine. I guess I'll just like rub it a little bit under here. I haven't actually set my under eyes yet. Oh my god. I don't know what is up with my makeup order today. I'm like, that's a challenge, and all of a sudden I get frazzled and start doing things in the weirdest order. I'm just gonna keep slowly blending the residue through the crease like just to fade it in you know what though i feel like even though this is a little bit like out there and like bold at least it looks like something now whereas before it was just like i don't know too pale like this palette is stunning you guys like if you swatch them like they are so pigmented and everything but it's the formula where you build you know and we can't build today so don't look at this look and be like oh this palette's shit because it's really not shit it's really nice like you can see the color tones like stunning and would work for like a lot of skin tones too what have i done i regret doing this challenge now <sighs> i feel like a child that got into her ma ma mum's makeup it's not good okay i've got this in shade four it is the sugar twinkle by peri peri it's like a liquid eyeshadow so Wait, I didn't even get any. Literally. Okay, I'm gonna just like go like this to actually get some on the one because no shit, it was dry. It's still dry. Literally, there's like nothing on this. Okay, well, that's one dip. It's like dried out or something. So I'm gonna start with a little bit on my inner corner and then I might just run some, oh, there's some, on the ball of my eye. Literally, the colors I put on my eyelid are like gone now. So I'm just trying to like add something back in oh my god this is the worst eye makeup i've ever done in my life oh apart from when i was like 16 but you know i feel so i'm so sorry opb beauty i don't know why i had to disrespect your palette like this as i just have to prove it to you okay finger like look like look honestly <laughs> that's what it should look like on my eye <laughs> that pink waterline too okay well I guess I'm gonna just pop on some waterline. This is kind of, I don't understand how this works because it's just a pencil, but I don't have anything that's like nude that isn't. So I'm just gonna pop that in. I feel like you guys will let this one slide just because of my internal pain. All right, now I need like a dippy eyeliner like this so that we can just take one dip. All right, so this is the Balm Schwing Liquid Liner. One dip. This is what we get. This is... I'm glad I'm not going anywhere today. Okay. I'm just gonna like do each wing. Oh god, I feel like I'm running out. I haven't even done the other wing properly yet. This might just have to be like a half wing because otherwise it's, oh no, it's gonna look really bad. This is a whole journey. Honestly, this is the worst eye makeup I've ever done, I think, on my channel. Oh my god. <sighs> All right, for mascara, I'm gonna use one that has a primer in it. So we only get one dip in each. So starting with the primer, this is the Revitalish Cosmetics Mascara, one dip. Okay, this is blue. I'm probably just gonna put this on the top and I think I'll use falsies anyway. I feel like we need to use falsies. I mean, I always use fals falsies, but just because I feel like falsies can hide a lot. Do you know what I mean? Do you guys feel like these are so 90s, these blue primers? Alright, that's my one dip done. Now we get one dip of mascara. So, <laughs> the little wiggle, okay. And I'm gonna do like a little distribution. So, I'm gonna do one side, like the outer corner, and then the other one, and then go in the inside. This reminds me of when I was like 17 and 
had like one mascara that would be dried out, but I refused to buy another one. So I'd just be like <laughs> rationing it out. Oh shit, my bottom lashes too. Okay, I better stop and do my bottom lashes. I need my bottom lashes done with this because it's just looking crazy. I can tell you right now, uh, Nikki Tutorial's one turned out a lot better than mine. She's like a magician, I swear. Oh my god, the blending though. Like, what is going on? Maybe when I do my pressed powder, I can like brush a little bit over or something. I don't know. I can't really. Well, let's go in with pressed powder real quick. Oh, should I do my mis I mean my lashes first? Maybe I'll do my lashes. I've got lots that I'm reusing right here, so maybe I'll just pop on the Illusion lashes, Bake So Beauty. And then what? Just one like one dip of lash glue. I mean, I don't like the thought of this, but here we go. This is the Duo 2 in one. You can get off XO Beauty as well. Um, there's like nothing on here. I'm just gonna like paint it on. Luckily, I'm probably not gonna be wearing this look all day. Okay, I'm using like what's on the actual like stick, like this part, because there's nothing left on the brush tip. And I've not even started gluing on the other eyelash yet. I'm just gonna sit that there to start like getting tacky. Gorge. Oh my god, literally, there's like none left. <laughs> oh no. Oh, there's a little bit. Oh my god, that's so sad. But I'm not using any more. It's just so sad right now. <laughs> Okay, these lashes are just not right for this look either. Oh no. And they aren't even sticking because there's not enough glue on them. Well, I've heard the start of the video, I was so confident. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna do some colorful stuff. So that's actually a challenge. <sighs> now look at me. Honestly, what a fool. You're looking at a clown. I don't think this is gonna stay stuck down. So you're just gonna have to like, stare at me for the rest of this entire video with one of my eyelashes not even stuck because there's no like lash glue on it. Like I've barely even got mascara on any of these. All of these products I'm using today are products I like as well and I'm just making them all look terrible. <laughs> powder, Studio Fix powder. We're just gonna smash them on. So one dip, I'm gonna like smush it <laughs> and then just tap it all around. Honestly, I'd usually use like probably four times this amount. So today's a very light powder look. That literally is like done nothing. And then one dip of Well Rested by Bare Minerals. So I'm just using my small face brush. One dip, in fact, a bit too much. And I'm just going to set my under eye area. I'm just buffing that out. That's not so bad because I don't usually use too much of that anyway. Okay, let's do these brows because they look like they're getting lost behind the eyelashes. Right, I'm gonna do the Brow Pomade by Maybelline. So we have one dip. I've somehow managed to lose like almost every single eyebrow groomer brush I own. I'm just gonna use an eye definer brush instead. So one dip and I'm just gonna start on the tails. I'm just gonna like alternate sides so that I get most of the product on the tail. Oh, I hope you guys are finding this entertaining because I'm really sad. <laughs> like, I'm smiling. Like, what's that TikTok? I feel like I'm dead. I'm alive, but I'm dead. <laughs> That's literally my mood right now. I've literally run out of brush. There's nothing left on this brush. I'm just, like, pretending. I could have definitely gone for another dip, but... <sighs> Feel defeated. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my P. Louise eyebrow gel. This is in hazelnut latte. So one dip. I'm just gonna wipe off the tip. Okay, this shouldn't be too bad. I feel like I usually only do one dip anyway. I'm kind of like trying to get most of that product on the inner where I didn't have enough pomade. I really like this brow gel. It's such a nice color and it really defines. Well, we've got natural eyebrows today, which doesn't really go with this eye makeup, but oh, this freaking eyelash does not want to stick either. Why did I think this was going to be fun? This is going to be the worst part because I usually go into my bronzer like 80 times. I'm just going to use this one. It's on my desktop. I've used it heaps lately because it's just always been chilling on my desk. It's Umbra, the Nabla Skin Bronzing Powder. Um, God, I'm going to go like this. One dip. It's still not enough for me. I need it on my nose. That's like my non-negotiable, so I'm going to apply like a decent amount there. And I like it's already gone. Like, what am I even like? There's nothing. And then let's like, contour a little bit, I guess, with my um, contour powder from my Mac Contour Kit. I'm gonna use this brush by Fenty. It's a foundation brush. Uh, I'm gonna go one dip. Let's start with this side. Oh, 
that was a good choice. It picked up quite a bit. Now I'm a bit nervous. Oh my god, it's so patchy. It's like sticking to the foundation because I haven't set it properly. I'm using my brush to blend it, like the big powder brush I used before. I'm so patchy. Like, where'd it go? It's gone. <laughs> Whatever. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I'm freaking done. I've got this pretty blush. Oh my god, I'm flinging shit. Okay, this is the um, Estee Lauder blush in Brazen Bronze. Oh my god, I just started like going do 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 do. Hold on, let me wipe off my brush and start again. I better prove to you that I'm wiping it off properly. Okay, here we go. So let's do one. <laughs> I just chose this color because it's kind of natural, like very similar to my natural like redness. Because otherwise if I add something else and it's like, oh, it's patchy and stuff. Like, I just can't handle it. I just need it to look like it just goes. My face looks so round right now. I'm gonna go in with something intense for highlighter because then I know it'll like it'll go far, you know what I mean? Do you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna use this one in a while. I hope they still sell it. It's the Mecca Enlightened powder. Look how beautiful it is when you open it up. Oh, so good. And I think I'm going to use this brush here. This is a MAC 197SH. I don't know, I got sent it in PR, so one. And this highlight is nice, it's kind of just like a top coat, it doesn't add too much colour, it just adds the glow, which I feel like is appropriate for what's going on right now. I hate my makeup right now. I hate it. I should have just played it safe and done neutrals. Why did I have to be so bold? I saw Nikki Tutorials do colour, I'm like, I can do colour, I can, I can do that. Nope. How do we do lip pencil? Or do I just not do lip Like, I, I don't understand how we do lips. I guess liquid lipstick. I feel like lipstick will be easy. What's this one? Ultra Lip Stain in Aquarius by Colourpop. So, one. How old is this? This kind of smells poison. I feel like it's off. Oh, mm. Yeah, that's expired. <laughs> this is like the only easy step so far. Okay, I like the colour. But yeah. That's so expired, it smells like burnt plastic. I mean, I'll go through in my next declutter and like actually, I'm gonna do a better job than I did on my lipsticks. Like, I'm gonna go back through my lipsticks in my MAC collection and get rid of some of the ones that are probably expired. And then I'm gonna go through my lip glosses and everything properly and yeah, get rid of like, there's heaps that are like discontinued. Like for example, Lipland. What happened to Lipland? Do you remember Lipland? Like I tried to link a Lipland lipstick couple months ago for you guys and I was like I can't even find the brand anymore it's like disappeared like it's got no trace on the internet there's no trace of it it's just gone it's so weird okay so for lip gloss I'm going to use the ultra glossy lip by Colourpop in sun soaked and this will be easy too because heaps comes out on this little brush I should have been way more tactical on what products I used today like used liquid eyeshadow and stuff like that mm -hmm. done you don't want to miss this part Setting spray. One spray. You guys know I usually do like 20. Right. Can I do a warm up one? Okay. Yeah, it's working. Sometimes, you know, that kind of cheated. It kind of came up. Anyway, let's pretend that didn't happen. I felt that like on my forehead and that was it. Do you know what the saddest part of this is? Is literally like if I went back and just added more layers and like blended my eyeshadow better, like fixed my eyelashes and my mascara. I feel like I need more mascara on my bottom lashes, like all of that. Like the look could have been okay. I would love some more contour too, because I feel like a potato, like a little spud head. Um, his, my head just looks like straight round, circular. But hey, I'd like to make my eyebrows a little bit more bob. But do you know what I mean? Like the actual colours themselves, like it could have worked out really nicely. It could have. It just, it didn't. You know, the lips are bomb, so that's good. The eyebrows are actually pretty bomb too. I just think with this eye look, maybe not. Like, I feel like they just needed a little bit more oomph. Uh, maybe a bit thicker and stuff like that. But what can you do? That's my result with this challenge. Let me know how you think I did. <sighs> it's a bit of a disaster in my opinion. It's sad. It's a sad, sad, lonely day. <laughs> but hey, hopefully it was a little bit entertaining for you guys. Let me know if there's any other challenges going around right now that you guys want me to do. Because I feel like I haven't done them in the longest time. As if this couldn't get worse, I feel like something has gone into my eyeball. Good. All right. Well, I'm going to go sort that out. <laughs> Goodbye.